Meantime, women in the medical center are being extra watchful after news of another sexual assault. It happened earlier this week, the latest in what appears to be a series of rapes dating back to at least January. Our Katrina Weber reports some people are determined to do more, though, than just worry about it. This is the face of some women's nightmares and one others in the medical center hope never to encounter. Make sure that I'm assessed of my surroundings and, you know, anybody that doesn't look familiar. But it appears the man in the sketch released by San Antonio police back in February now haunts at least one more woman. A 24 year old in this Babcock Road apartment complex reported being sexually assaulted around 11 Monday night. They said it happened in the complex. They, we got it, I think, a day and a half, I guess, after it happened. This neighbor who didn't want to show her face heard about it in an email from the complex. It was just a sexual assault, no, no detail or anything. When asked for information, police confirmed the attack but declined to talk on camera, telling us they've said enough in the past. Since January, we've been reporting on a series of attacks on women in that area, including some rapes. Many of these attacks have happened at apartment complexes with gays like this one. And while that may appear to be a source of comfort, people here say they're not counting on them alone for protection. I got a pretty good guard dog, that's for sure. That's for sure. He's a good boy. It's for extra added attention. I think that protection, anything that can help me. With a big stick, she hopes oh, to yeah, avoid any really trouble happy. with the man who for months has eluded police. Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News.